chocolate is scrumptious when it crunches. That's why I love Nestle Crunch. Milk chocolate, mm, that's creamy. Blending crispies, ooh, so dreamy. Gotta have it, it's so scrumptious. Love that chocolate when it crunches. Scrunches. Chocolate is scrumptious when it crunches. That's why I When you call us, the terror begins. Creep ball. Real life, ghosts and zombies talk to you. Dial 1-900-490-CREEP. That's 1-900-490-CREEP. Randomly selected callers get connected to me live. Hurry up, we're waiting for you, pigeon. If you're under 18, make sure your parents know you're calling. Just $2 per call. <laughs> You've had a rough day. You forgot about the math exam. The girl you like thinks you're sludge. And the cafeteria served wiener winks for the fourth day in a row. Turn on Channel 8 for some comic relief. 90 Minutes of Fun starts off at 4 with different strokes. The comedy continues at 4.30 on Silver Spoons. And Three's Company rounds out the laughs at 5. All weekday afternoons on WGAL-TV. Honey, did you clean out the cat's box? Because sometimes you need a laugh or two. There must be something on. Oh, wow! Candy critters! Oh! Oh, great! It's Monsters, our favorite show. Shh, it's starting. But this book says you should dress aggressively. Wear gray. You don't have a gray robe. Okay, then I'll think. I wonder what he's like. Well, nobody seems to know. The only thing I can find out is his name is Jimmerman. Dr. Homer P. Jimmerman. A doctor, no less. I don't think he's medical. He's some kind of scientist. Okay, just be careful. And sit. Remember, they are upstairs neighbors. Emerald. Neighbors are a horizontal concept. In New York, you don't consider the people upstairs your neighbors. He's a rotten, brutal man. I can handle myself. Yeah! Let me out of Yes? What is it? It's Jay Blake from downstairs. I mean, I live under you. Do you know the time? Oh, I know the time. Now open up this door before I call the police. The police? Well, come in. music in all forms. It's just that the bees adore it. They like the big orchestra sounds. Go explain it. The bees? The bees adore the music. Yes. My little friends. In there. Good Lord. 
Music makes my peace, how shall I phrase it, more generous. You must have a very understanding wife. I have no wife. I have yet to meet the mate who shares my goals. Well, my mate downstairs shares my goal, which is to get some sleep. Sleep? Sleep is an indulgence. I'm after balance. That is my ultimate goal. To create a complete little world right here in my own apartment. Flowers, vegetables, and the perfect food. Honey. Ah, <laughs> duh. Honey? <laughs> what? You make your own honey. New York honey. High-rise honey. Mark me if you like, but... I'm a self-contained, self-sustained man, thanks to all of this, and especially the bees. You'll understand better when you taste Jimmerman one. I named the first batch of honey after myself. Here, let me give you a taste. Oh, no, 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 I'm, I'm on a diet, you know, spare tire. Try it. Don't be afraid. Hmm? Tell me, do you like it? Nice? This stuff is incredible. Are you all right? I mean, I never... What I'm trying to say, Dr. Jimmerman, is I didn't bring my wallet with me, so I'll just slip a check under the door. Just tell me how much you want. I mean, I can buy some of this stuff, can't I? Out of the question that there's just not enough. Not enough. Dr. Jimmerman, uh, this building is a co-op, and I happen to have close friends on the board of directors. Oh, they've, they've already got a list of complaints against you. And uh, when I tell them that you've turned this place into a farm, you're gone. They can't put me out. Where would I go? I never go anyplace. I, 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 I've got this phobia. Ah, calm down. Calm down. You don't have to go anywhere. Now that we're partners. Partners? Yes. You will deliver one jar of this stuff every evening. Just leave it under the door. And uh, I'm going to take some of this right now for my wife. There won't be enough. Not without... Hold! Turn on the music. Yes! Turn it on loud. Go ahead. Bust my eardrums. I'm talking full power. Congratulations. You certainly made them bend your will. Emerald, you wouldn't believe what I have to tell you. So just. Glue? It's all right. It's only honey, honey. From Dr. Jimmerman's bees. He makes it. Upstairs in the apartment. He, he keeps bees upstairs? Taste this. No. Taste it. Aphrodisiac, mm -hmm. he stumbled onto bliss. No more talk. <laughs> Have some honey. Honey, bunny. Oh, oh slither down uh, here, you panther in pajamas. Glaze me, my baby. Uh -huh. Go away. It's me, partner. I have something nice for you. Hey, we haven't talked in a month. 
Not now. Wait until you count this week's take. Go away. Keep the money. Forget he said that. Well, who are you? I leave him alone for a few weeks and presto change you. My new associate. Her associate? Hmm, whatever. Her name is Desiree. Desiree, this is Mr. Blake. Desiree. Nice name. Sensual. An ancient name. Older than time. Now go away. Excuse me. Right. Get back to work. They seem to like your associate. Please. No locker room talk. That woman is very special to me. I'm not alone anymore. She has consented to be my wife. Hey, fabulous. Let me be the first. There will be no more surplus. We will need all the honey we can produce. I'm afraid this is the end of our relationship. Hold on. Whoa. I've got a line of billionaires from seven continents just begging to ante up. Will this help? Help? Oh, you bet. <sighs> you know, for a minute there, I, um... Don't be a stranger. You come by any time. I, um... Will. Inside every chocolate lover's soul is a beastie. A beastie that hungers for the ultimate chocolate extravaganza. Hershey's Bar None. Chocolate wafers, chocolate cream, peanuts, and pure milk chocolate. Make Bar None the only one that will tame the chocolate beastie. If you like bananas, you're going to love new Dole Pine Orange Banana Juice. I've got a feeling today's the day. Want to get going in a different way. The perfect vacation from Orange Juice is Dole. The perfect vacation from Orange Juice is Dole. Get away with new Dole Pine Orange Banana. The only fruit juice made with ripe banana. Refreshing orange and Dole 100% pure pineapple juice. The perfect vacation from Orange Juice is Dole. Mom, feed us. We're starving. Have some Butterball. I'm worried about you, Mom. These are cold cuts. Butterball's a turkey. When's a Butterball not a Butterball? When it's Butterball cold cuts. Great tasting salami, ham, bologna, and turkey slices made from lean, up to 98% fat-free Butterball turkey. Ma, I can't believe my mouth. Mmm, great ham. It's mm. Butterball. <laughs> I'm worried about you, pal. Mm. Butterball's turkey. Butterball cold cuts. After all, it's Butterball. On another world, Jason Frame is back. Are you blackmailing me? And what he knows could prove deadly. Leave Mr. Frame a reminder that you were there. Weekdays. Love lesson number six, how to make up after a quarrel. I'm sorry. I know I can take your mind off it if you give me a chance. You can try. <laughs> oh, there we go. We got a smile. Brush up on your romance with Santa Barbara. Weekdays. Coming in from the terrace, through the, the air conditioning system. They're crawling under the doors. Well, bees will be bees. Not funny. You're not allergic. Hey, I think that you're overreacting. A bug spray can the size of a bomb? Try to get it through your head that every dead bee is that much less profit. Oh, I get so angry sometimes. Emerald, when the Jimmimans show up... Don't criticize. And absolutely shut up about that spray can. If they notice it, say that it's a fire extinguisher. No. No, say that it's art. <laughs> They're not the Jimmermans yet. They're not married. Look, it is a miracle that they accepted our dinner invitation. They never leave the apartment. Let's not blow it. Well, why did we invite them anyway? For public relations. Since Desiree moved in, New York Honey's production is up 45.6%. Doesn't that merit a celebration? The ice. I, I forgot to empty the cubes. You get the door, I'll do the drinks.
Hello, Emerald. Am I early? No. Early, no. <laughs> exactly on time, to the second. <laughs> uh, where is... Uh... Oh, I'm mortified. He tried to come, he sincerely did, but he can't leave his home. Why does genius have to be so quirky? Man. <laughs> the things us girls have to put up with. Oh. Come on in. Oh, what a lovely home. <gasps> For you. Whoa. Desiree, you look marvelous. But where's my partner? Oh, you know him. He's a workaholic. I'm going to put this into water. In water? You put that in champagne. That's some flower. I do hope you like it, Jay. It whispered your name to me. I, I have a ton and a half of chicken cordon bleu. <laughs> I'm going to fix up a plate and take it up to him. Oh, that's so sweet of you, but I can do it myself. No, no. You're our honored guest. Sit down. Have a libation. Be comfortable. A toast to business. Buzzness. <laughs> <laughs> Did I miss a good joke? No, a bad joke. You had a bee there. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I have a little surprise for you. It's the new batch of honey. Open your mouth and close your eyes. Good. Nice and warm. It's the orchids. Their nectar is so potent. Very good. Oh, mm -hmm. oh Desiree, I... I love seeing your name. It's so moist. You look radiant tonight. The first time I saw you, I... Jay, there's a tiny golden fleck of honey on your lower lip. Mm -hmm. Oh, stop. Emerald? Emerald? No. German. Totally devoted to you. He is obsessed. And let's face it, Jimmy in his New York honey, and that is one boat I will not rock. Not even for love. Supreme consuming love. Yes, I. Even if I wanted to jeopardize my finances, which I don't, I they kill me. I told them there was no more New York honey. It seems we have a problem. Mm -hmm. There's plenty more if you want seconds. I've forgotten how delicious food can be. But I wouldn't want to send you downstairs to disturb your lovers. Meaning exactly what? She never looks at me the way she looks at him. You can't imagine. Dr. Jimmerman, I think this place is getting to you. I built this paradise for her. For her. Paradise? Look around you. Beauty. Nourishment. That's really disgusting. Disgusting? It's the essence of beauty. The perfect society. Soldiers to defend it, workers to find nectar, drones to build the cells and store the honey, all in the service of Her Majesty the Queen. They worship their queen. Any female rival is murdered. And when the queen desires love, she leaves the hive with her chosen lover. They rise to the sky in a meeting frenzy, the quintessence of passion. And then her lover dies. She watches him die. Nice life if you happen to be the queen. 
Desiree is my queen. I would gladly die for a moment of perfect pleasure. If only she would have me. You mean you two have never, uh, you don't, you're not, uh, dunce? I am waiting for the moment to happen between us, like magic. She's a shy person, delicate. These things take time. Shy, delicate? I don't think she you... wants your husband. She does. I think you're exaggerating. I can't bear it. My mate, my true love, my queen. I'm going down. I think you're imagining things, and you're upsetting the insects. Insects? You dare to call them insects? My children. He loved the chicken. The man needs protein. He's having hallucinations. So you enjoyed the appetizer? I suppose you can't wait for the main dish. Can't we behave like grown-ups? My house, my husband, my canapes, and you dare to tell me? Lady, you have the morals of a bug. Emerald, control yourself. It was innocent. And then when a bug comes into my house, I exterminate. It's sad, but you see, there can only be one queen. Oh, I gotta call an ambulance. I'll get Jimmerman. He must know some antidote. I'm afraid there won't be any answer from Dr. Jimmerman. He's outlived his... <sighs> He's gone on a little trip. What are you telling me? That, uh... Jimmerman... Uh, the bees? You and me. Don't you like happy endings? Oh, I could get used to this lifestyle. It's so warm in here. Come out to the terrace. Feel the breeze. Enjoy the view. Oh, what a beautiful night. The first of many. Look how the city glitters. Wouldn't you like to soar high above those towers and lie down on a soft, misty cloud with me under the moon? A honeymoon? <laughs> Darling, you have such a way with words. Oh, baby. My perfect lover. And when a queen desires love, she leaves the hive with her chosen lover. They rise to the sky in a meeting of things. The quintessence of fashion. And when her lover dies, she watches him die. Center makes it easy. Take this beautiful entertainment center and mix and match this TV, this stereo, this VCR from just $19.99 per week. Brand name quality and you can have it today. Hey Lester, this sounds great. Let's go. Lester, Lester, did he leave without me? <laughs> Want it, rent it, own it. Rent a center. Dial 202-9090.
Night Court, tonight at 6.30 on Channel 9. You may not believe what I'm about to tell you, such as the nature of advertising. But let me tell you about a revolutionary product from Hormel. Top Shelf, a complete line of main course meals that stay fresh without the use of a freezer, a refrigerator, or for that matter, a single preservative. They microwave and one-third the time it takes frozen, and they taste like they're fresh from the kitchen. Well, that may sound like quite a mouthful, but then it is. The first time you see Kentucky Fried Chicken's new good and fast meal, the skeptic in you may ask, what's so good and fast about it? Well, the good part is for only $2.99, you get three pieces of Kentucky Fried Chicken, plus mashed potatoes and gravy, plus a fresh baked buttermilk biscuit, plus a big 22-ounce drink for just $2.99. That's good. And the fast part? The good and fast meal, only $2.99. Only a Kentucky Fried Chicken. I think new Yo Play fruit on the bottom tastes better than anybody else's fruit on the bottom. It's because of what's on top of Yo Play fruit on the bottom. Rich, thick, creamy Yo Play yogurt. Yogurt just sweet enough you could eat it alone. And if it's that good alone, imagine how good it tastes when you stir up the chunks of real fruit. New Yo Play fruit on the bottom. What's on top makes it better. When I switched to Tylenol, I figured it would be forever, but I figured wrong. I switched again to Advil. Just one Advil is as effective as two regular strength Tylenol. You see, Advil contains a non-prescription strength of ibuprofen. That's the medicine in the prescription brand Motrin. Doctors trust ibuprofen, enough to have prescribed it over 130 million times. Maybe you should think about switching too. Advil, advanced medicine for pain. Round the world through the heat and rain, yeah. Across the Alps and against the grain, yeah. Wherever Buick Electra went in the world, it left behind new standards of luxury and performance. It's here to stay, yeah. Put it to your own test today, yeah. Now, see if Buick Electra lives up to the highest standard of all. Yours. Wouldn't you really rather Salute the world's most legendary duck in a star-studded celebration with singing, dancing, and host Nick Van Dyke. Donald Duck's 50th birthday, Tuesday. Wednesday, it's a hair-raising Halloween happening. Catchy beginning. First, that Emmy-winning fat cat. Ow! It's the trick-or-treat trade. I'm no scaredy cat. It's all new Garfield's Halloween adventure. Then... The Halloween classic, It's the Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown, right after Garfield, Wednesday. back into the twilight zone. Missing, Robert Fritz, now age eight, last seen Campbell's Port, Wisconsin, May 14th, 1983. Call 800-843-5678. Come on, boy. 
Chuckwagon has a rich, thick, real meat gravy. A hearty, stick-to-the-ribs gravy your dog will love. Chuckwagon brand dog food from Purina with real meat gravy. Yeah! Chuckwagon gravy is here. Come and get it. The Lakers for sandwiches. Hey, one leg at a time, fool. Aren't you hungry? Good. Now go back to sleep. It's only 4 o'clock in the morning. The hot, flaky breakfast for sandwich at Burger King. I thought that stuff already went to the thrift shop. Oh, these are a few more of Mrs. Montgomery's things. I forgot to give them. Yeah. Very painful for me to have Susan's belongings around here. I still haven't gotten over her accident. I understand. I'll see these get to the thrift shop right away. Make sure you get a receipt. Sorry, I'm late, Arlene. Mm. My bus was late. I never even noticed. No, I'm Got some new boxes in the back room need to be unpacked? Sure. <laughs> Wait on those two over there first, will you? <laughs> yeah, it's just what I've always wanted. Oh, oh no, I've... Uh, no, uh, in mine. In mine. Mine. Could I... I got, uh, <laughs> could I... Could I help you with something? Uh, <laughs> you could try the dress on if you want. Uh, maybe you should try it on. <laughs> yeah, maybe it'd brighten up your love life. just wondering, can I help you with something? Yeah. I think I want to buy something. I think I'd like to buy you something. Oh, no. That's okay. I don't need anything. Oh, come on. Pretty woman like you. You must need something. No. No, really. Well, would you uh, excuse me for a minute? I just have to go in the back.
Keep the change. Hey, what are you doing? I don't want your purse. Hey! Inez. Oh, I know, this dress, isn't it the worst? I'm gonna take a shower and then I want you to burn it. No, wait. Why? What is it? What's wrong? Are you a, a friend of Mr. Montgomery's? <laughs> well, that's very good, Inez. That's very good. I like the way you put that. Stop. Whoever you are, you can't just come in here and pretend you own this place. I would have to get Mr. Montgomery's permission before I could allow you to stay. He didn't say anything about having guests. Now, what's wrong, Inez? Has Carlito been running around on you again? Why don't you dump him? I mean, you could take all that money you've been saving from those holiday bonuses Mr. Montgomery's been giving you and start over. Now, don't worry. I won't tell anyone about the bonuses. Your secret's still safe with me. Okay. I'm gonna take a shower. I want to be nice and fresh for when Kyle gets home. Twenty dollars out for the fare. This is your purse, isn't it? And your name is Mavi Duncan. Where am I? What am I doing here? Don't you remember? What's wrong with you? Well, I, I, I was. Uh, I was, you know, I was at work, and uh, I was in the storeroom, and, and now I'm here. I, uh, did you know about my account? Nobody knew about that except Mrs. Susan. How did you know? Were you a friend of Mrs. Susan? Mrs. Susan who? Susan Montgomery, who do you think? I don't know any Susan Montgomery. Look, um, if you don't mind, I, could I just go back to the, the thrift store and... Are you sick? Crazy? You come in here. Talk about things you don't know. Act like you belong here somehow. Well, I'll tell you something. You don't belong here. You better get your clothes on and get out of here right now. Before I call the police. What did you do with your shoes? I don't know. Montgomery shoes. 
Well, I didn't steal them, honest. I, someone gave them to the thrift store. Come on and get out. told you to burn this. I didn't want to be disturbed. Yes, I know, but there's this woman on the line. She wants to speak to you, and she says she can't wait. What woman? Well, she says she's your wife. That's not funny, Lord. I know, but that's what she said. I, I would have hung up on her, but she acted like she knew me, too. <laughs> she even asked me about my boyfriend by name. I think you better talk to her. This is Kyle Montgomery. You don't know how good it is to hear your voice again, Kyle. Who is this? Well, don't you recognize my voice? No. Shame on you. It hasn't been that long, has it? Well, it's me. Susan. Susan who? Susan, your lovely wife. My wife is dead. She died in an accident a little over a month ago. So you say. Look. Whoever you are, this is an extremely twisted and perverse little joke you're trying to pull, and I don't appreciate it, not one bit. I want you to know this legally qualifies as harassment. Oh. Threats? Am I hearing threats? somebody you've already killed. Where are you? Well, I'm at home. Where else would I be? I'm getting ready to fix a Manhattan. It's your favorite drink. You always like the way I fix them. Hmm, I guess that was the only thing you liked about me toward the end there. Kyle? Kyle, where'd you go? Are you coming home, darling? <laughs> Just don't go away. In a moment, you'll be crossing back into the Twilight Zone. At Duracell, we're always trying to climb higher even if it means topping our own copper top. Introducing the new, highly improved copper top battery. So improved, it'll last up to 30% longer than any battery we've ever made. The new copper top. Once again, we've reached a new peak. Duracell, when it comes to making them last longer, we never stop. Classic cold symptoms get the number one choice of pediatricians and pharmacists. Try a minute cold syrup. It's number one for a sneezing and runny stuffy nose. Try a minute cold syrup. Exactly what you need. We all have different cough and cold symptoms. I might have a <coughs> my wife a <coughs> and my daughter. A <coughs> That's why doctors recommend try a minute liquids to treat just the symptoms you have. So if you have a <coughs> try a minute has exactly what you need. <gasps> You know, Frankie, your popcorn is really a home run. Yeah, but you got a major league problem. What? It's gone. <laughs> but Swinarski's at that. Oh, come, come on. on. Come on. 
Billsbury Microwave Popcorn. When you want it now and you want it good, it's frozen for freshness to pop up as delicious as popcorn should pop up. Did you see that, Frankie? What happened? He popped up. <laughs> Billsbury Microwave Popcorn. When you want it now and you want it good. <laughs> Looking for sweet, great-tasting, 100% pure orange juice? Here's something new to look for. Florida's seal of approval. Your guarantee that no matter how or where it's packaged, it's juice that meets Florida's standards. Standards higher than those of the federal government. So to be sure the juice you pour has everything you're looking for, look for Florida's new seal of approval. Orange juice. You'd better get down, Fritz. You know Kyle doesn't like you sitting on the furniture. What do you want? I'm the Wicked Witch of the East. Maybe you'd better drop a house on me next time. Perhaps it will be more permanent. Look, I don't know who you are or what you're talking about. You don't belong in this house. Oh, well, would you like me to fix you one? Who are you? Tell me who you are! <laughs> oh, now that's the Kyle that I know and love. Ah! And that's the Kyle I know all too well. Those shoes. Where did you get them? Don't be silly, darling. You bought them for me. I was wearing them the night that you pushed me off that balcony. My wife... My wife fell from the balcony. She was dancing on the concrete railing. She... She had too much to drink. And I suppose the police bought that story, didn't they? But you see, I'm not the police. I'm someone with a little more intimate knowledge of what happened that night. <laughs> You're clever. You're very clever. Where were you that night? I don't remember seeing you at the party. Are you kidding? I was a star attraction. My wife is dead. She fell from the balcony. She broke her neck. feel better than I did that night when I felt your hands shoving me off that railing. Can you imagine how terrified I was? Falling backwards like that. I didn't think I'd ever hit the ground. All I could see was the sky and the stars. And then when I did hit... No! Over here, darling. It's judgment day. The jury's turned in its verdict. Guilty as charged. The police. Yes, the police. Hurry. Shoes! 
and you'd never seen this woman before. Never. A woman shows up, pretending to be your wife, calls you at work, gets you to come home, and then starts taking shots at you for no reason. What can I say? There's a lot of crazies out there. Maybe she knew Susan. I, I don't know. Well, we have her description. I'll get this circulated right away. Who knows? Maybe we'll get lucky. Lieutenant? My uh, clients, all important people in this town, are very picky about whom they do business with. If word about this should get out, they might have second thoughts about me representing them. Your career is uh, more important to you than your life? Is that what you're saying? Since my wife died, Lieutenant, my career is my life. I'd uh, just prefer to forget the whole thing. I'll hire some security to watch the house for a couple of weeks. In case this nutcase comes back again. Now, you and your wife were um, happily married, Mr. Montgomery? Yeah. I miss her a great deal. Well, we'll keep it under our hat. If things should come up, I'll call you, personally. Thanks. I appreciate that. She didn't give you any other name. No. You have no idea who she was? No idea. You know, I, um, I think I'll uh, move out to the beach. Um, I'll stay there for a while. Shut up this house. Won't be needing your services anymore. I'll give you a month's severance pay, of course. But I want you out today. I was going to give notice anyway. Take uh, Fritz with you. What is it? Do you believe in ghosts, Mr. Kyle? As we walk through life, if we learn nothing else, we learn the only sure things are death and taxes. Well, one out of two isn't bad. And haven't we all said you can't take it with you? Another comforting adage without exceptions in the real world that somehow goes all wonky when considering exit lines delivered in the Twilight Zone.
don't go away. In a moment, you'll be crossing back into the Twilight Zone. Sunday. I didn't kill him. The question is, who did on Murder, she wrote. <laughs> then a successful widow holds out against killer competition. Ah, here we go. Crazy like a fox. And on Trapper John, an ex-surgeon faces his one nightmare. It's now or never. Doctor. Sunday. Wednesday. How much she get? The kid, it's on the house. A boy's father is caught between the law and the mob. Dead men don't talk sense. Where did the equalizer turn to eat in his house? This is CBS. Enter the world of the potentially rich and famous. Play the Burger King $14 million winning taste game. Win $1,000 a month for the rest of your life or any of 19 million fabulous food and cash prizes. Glitter, glamour, a flame broil whopper, a flaky croissant sandwich, a Pepsi, or $1,000 a month for the rest of your life. And the odds of winning a prize are a fantastic one in seven. Play the winning taste game now at Burger King. One leader committed to building a better Virginia, Wyatt Durrett. 200 years ago, there was no doubt in anyone's mind about which state led America. Let us once again rekindle that spirit and recognize our destiny. Let us not settle for anything less than first. Let us recognize again that at the end of these four years, when America asks the question of which state leads America, let it be Virginia. Henchville and Lafayette, the highlights at 11. Once again, foolish friends, Freddy Krueger is on your phone. Dial this number now. I've got some tales to tell. Freddy's favorite bedtime stories. <laughs> Dead time stories. All brand new and straight from my boiler room to your home. It's Freddy Krueger on your phone. So dial this number now if you dare. Tell them Freddy sent you. <laughs> Two dollars the first minute, 45 cents each additional minute. Couldn't hold him. This man cannot be allowed to walk free. And killing him was the worst thing they could do. I'll be back! Now, for the first time, see how Freddy Krueger became an unliving legend. This night never ends. See how it all began and why the nightmares will never stop. You're dead! Big deal! On the next episode of Nightmare on Elm Street, Freddy's Nightmares. Saturday at 11 on TV 22. Ricky's in the popcorn business. How many more bags do you want me to buy? Was that obvious? Mm-hmm. How many more? Two, three, five? Well, uh, not quite. Well, how many? Ten? Fifteen? How about a thousand? <laughs> popcorn? Next time on Silver Spoons. Monday at 6 on TV 22.
cleans better. I know. Good old Oxy. Wrong. Brand new Oxy. Bigger than ever to clean better than ever. You gonna be in there all day? Long before I made it to Hotel Manager, I discovered Suave. Then I tried those expensive shampoos and conditioners. Guess what? They weren't better, just more expensive. So I came back to Suave. Suave makes you look like you spent a fortune on your hair. Well, you think you want bad rooster. Huh? Heather? You need the lecture man. How's it looking there? Like the Dead Sea. <laughs> You're in hot water, pal. You should have used Listerman. Listerman? That's right, Piranha Breath. Listerman has long-lasting breath protection, plus fluoride to strengthen teeth. Thanks, guys. Do I have time for a dip? Listerman, Listerman making, making your mouth a cleaner place. place. do you think you're doing? Oh, come on, Manny. I borrowed these gloves. They belong to Killer Kelsey. They could bring me luck. For what? So you can heat up on another poor schmuck who's late paying off his bookie? I did my time for that. I don't do that stuff no more! Come on, Manny. For old time's sake. What the hell do you care if I use these gloves or not? I mean, you ain't doing nothing with them. What I'm doing with them is keeping them. You just like all the rest of them. Nobody will give Tommy Dunn a break. Man, I put those gloves on. I could feel it. It was like fire, you know? Like my hands were burning. I had you figured for a bum. I didn't know you were a nutcase. You can't throw a hook. You gotta hitch when you deliver the right. Even your footwork is lousy. A mile away, I can see you got nothing. Now get out of here and do what you get paid for. Sweep the damn floor! <coughs> hey, Don, why don't you give it up, man? <laughs> because I'm still hoping to get a shot at you, Cornelius. Me? Man, I wouldn't waste my time. <laughs> You're a lost cause, Don. <laughs> Good night, Mr. King. Uh, good night, kid. Oh, kid, uh, before you go, uh, let's talk about your schedule. Oh, yeah, okay, but first. <laughs> Don! Yeah? I'm going home now. Make sure the towel money's in the box. All of it. If I come up short again, 
You're on the street. Done? Yeah, I hear you. Keep your nose clean. Drugs or what? This is for calling me a bum. This is for calling me a bum. Lucky punch. sort of picture diary for Lloyd. A uh, day in the life of curious girls. Lloyd, Lloyd. Haven't heard much of him lately. He's still engaged? Well, of course. Why wouldn't we be? Well, I don't know. My fiancé was living with two other men. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Well, I think once he's seen that picture, he won't be too worried. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. You missed my good side. You don't have a good side. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. What's up? Do you want the good news or the bad news? The good news, please. Mrs. Manny King wants us to look at her husband's collection of boxing memorabilia. Thinks we might be interested in buying. She needs some cash to settle her husband's estate. Yeah, there ought to be some stuff in there we can unload. After all, curious goods is curious goods. And uh, what's the bad news? The reason she called us is that Manny bought some stuff from your Uncle Lewis. Like this. Killer Ken Kelsey's boxing gloves, item 29764, sold to Manny King. Killer Ken Kelsey? Yeah, he was a, a welterweight boxing champ in the 40s. 1947, he was defending his title, and he knocked his opponent out, and he killed him. Hence the nickname. No, he had that nickname long before that. This time he just lived up to it. I was at that fight. That was, that was really awful. Kelsey hung up the gloves after that. Some people said he went a little strange. He never threw another punch. 
Well, where do we go to get this collection? You mean find the boxing gloves? Manny's gym, 8th Street. Come on. I used to box back in high school. That explains it. Explains what? Brain damage. Why don't you take a few pictures of these axes? Really put Lloyd's mind at ease, hmm? No sign of those gloves yet, huh? Not a... Oh! Oh, fr- Oh, my Manny, he was such a pack rat. I don't know the half of what he's got. With all the time and money he spent on this stuff, it's got to be worth something. And this is everything, I said. As far as I know. Sadie, do you remember a pair of old boxing gloves belonged to Ken Kelsey? <laughs> killer Ken Kelsey? Sure, they got to be around here someplace. You can't miss them. They got killer stamped right into the leather. All this was for a museum, you know. Manny wanted to start one. The history of boxing. Well, if you don't mind my asking, how did your husband die? He was beaten to death in an alley right around the corner from here. What about the police? The police, what do they know from nothing? Haven't they got any leads? Oh, sure. Only one set of footprints at the scene of the crime. And they say Manny tried to write something. Two letters, T-O. T-O? What could that mean? Who knows? Anyway, we'll bring Manny back. I don't want to talk about it anymore. So, uh, what do you think? Well, it's going to take some time cataloging all of this. We'd like to be thorough. Stay as long as you need. One of a gorgeous guy like me. Woohoo! I have to wait for the flash to recharge. For me to recharge. <laughs> so, what's your name? I'll send you one if they turn out. The fans call me terrific, but you can call me Tony. Hey, forget about him, doll. Tony here is just a boy. Why don't you take a picture of a real man? The name's not Doll, it's Mickey. That's all right, you're still a doll. Hey, what say we go out for a bite to eat after the fight tonight? Just you, me, and your camera. We'll see what develops. No, thanks. Feed it, Don. Hey, why don't you mind your own business, man? Get back in the ring. I said, beat it. You're an awful big talker outside of the ring, Cornelius. You want to say that to me in the ring? <laughs> don't make me laugh, man. The day I waste my time with a bum like you, I'll be hanging up my gloves. Thanks. <laughs> don't mention it. The name's Mickey. Uh, Cornelius, uh, kid Cornelius. <laughs> Kid Cornelius, does everybody here have a nickname? Well, it's all part of the image, you know. Uh, <laughs> looks better on the fight bills than Sammy. <laughs> Look, uh, don't let him get you. Manny just lets him hang around. He does odd jobs. So he's not a fighter? Well, he's been in the ring, but uh, he's had more losses than anybody in the city. <laughs> and what about you? Well, I've had a few big fights. I could have trained uptown, but I decided to stay down here with Manny. Well, look, kid, uh, I... Sam. Sam. Thanks a lot. Hey, just let me know if he bothers you again, all right? Sam! Hey, Tom. How are you doing? Hey. Are you gonna come inside and watch me fight? Are you kidding? I've seen you fight. That's what you call it. No, man, I'm gonna stay here. Never know what hits you, chump. Ha, ha. Ha, ha. Laughing at him. Hey, guys, leave me alone, will you? I gotta pray.
So this is the great art of boxing. <laughs> wearing the killer gloves. Gee, oh, Tommy. That's the clue Manny was trying to leave. Help! Help! I need some help! He's dead out there! He's dead. Terrific, Tony! Nights at 10. What you're about to watch is a nightmare. It is not meant to be prophetic. It need not happen. It's the it's the fervent and urgent prayer of all men of men of men of goodwill that it never shall happen. But in this place, in this moment, it does happen. This is this is the twilight zone. Don't, 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 don't. Come on along for a trip with the world's most lovable cabbie. I'm gonna make him squeal like an eel and squirm like a worm. They're ready to take you on a ride to where the lap meter doesn't stop running. How much pleasure can one man endure? And they'll drive straight to your heart. This is just like in body. Or your funny boat because taxi's back and... You ain't seen nothing yet. Midnight at 11 on TV 22. You're watching WLFL, your Raleigh Durham Theatre station for the NBA Hornets. This John is jumping. Win big at Burger King with triple jump checkers. Every card can win if you make the right moves. Win up to a million dollars instantly or collect to win a Pontiac Grand Prix or other great prizes. Triple jump checkers at Burger King. King me. Earn $18,000 for your education by serving part-time in the Army Reserve. When I'm not doing my reserve duty as a technician in the operating room, I'm in college studying computer science. Qualify for the GI Bill, and you'll earn over $18,000 during a standard enlistment with a nearby Army Reserve unit. I'm studying engineering in college, and I'm putting it into practice in the Reserve. What makes Irish Spring this refreshing? Oh, what a clean, fresh scent. Gentle skin conditioner. What a refreshing thing is showering with Irish Spring. He was in an argument with Dunn just before the fight. And now Dunn has the gloves. Too much of a coincidence for my liking. But Dunn never left the ring. Sure split out of here in a hurry. Maybe put the gloves in his locker. Wait here.
looking for something? Uh, yeah, no. I mean, it, no. You always go breaking into people's lockers? Look, it's not what you think. No, then what is it? Well, I gave my uh, wallet to Tommy uh, to hold, and uh, he said he'd put it in his locker. For now, me. is that a fact? Yeah, yeah, and he left in such a hurry. Mm -hmm. Must forgot about it. Then what's this, then? Jeez. Oh, Thanks. Go on. Get out of here before you get into more trouble. Okay, thanks. Damn, he's home. This is exactly the type of neighborhood Dunn would live in. If he wasn't there, I could get us in easily enough. We could be waiting all night for him to come out. I've got an idea. Hey, where are you going? There are some things I can do that you two can't. Hi, is this Tommy Dunn? Yeah. You might not remember me, but I met you earlier today at the gym. My name's Mickey. The skirt with the camera. That's right. I just wanted to tell you that I thought you fought a wonderful fight. Ah, right, well, that uh, wasn't bad. And I also wanted to apologize for the way I acted this afternoon. Yeah, well, uh, you win some, you lose some. Well, look, um, I know it's late. But if you're not doing anything, I would really love to grab a cup of coffee. Yeah? Well, uh, why don't you come on over to my place? Mm, I'd rather not. At least, not quite yet, if you know what I mean. Maybe later. Yeah, sure, doll. Whatever you say. Uh, I was also wondering if there's a place close to where you live. Yeah, the Olympus Grill. Uh, how about 15 minutes? I'll be there in five. Five it is. <laughs> she wants us to wait. Surprise. Me too. You bring your camera? Max, some Java. An apple pie for two. Yeah, sure, Tommy. Mickey. Mickey, what is that? You Irish? It's a name like that you gotta be, and not here. Well, my mother's Irish, my father's English, from way back. In fact, I have a feeling my family must land with the pilgrims. Strong hands. And that's not all. Huh. You're pretty handy with that pick. Yeah. That's the last thing my old friend Jimmy gave me before he went away. Where'd he go? Sing Sing, three to eight. This is disgusting. The guy grades his pizzas. Eat that? Or are you gonna torture it for a while? I guess I really wasn't very hungry. Let's say we go back to my place for a little bit of a nightcap. You really pounded that guy good tonight. I hope he wasn't hurt. He is, he is. That's the breaks. I like a man with confidence. Confidence, baby. You're looking at a guy that just can't lose at anything. <laughs> Max, the bill. Can I have Yo. some more coffee? You can have some at my place, like I say. I just can't lose. Tommy, it's really getting late. Let's not rush into anything. Hey, doll. You called me, you remember? 
I gotta work tomorrow morning really early. You think I'm a sucker? No, Tommy, of course not. Honest, I, I really wanted to talk to you. You little tease. Tommy, please let go my arm. You're hurting me. set me up. No, we wouldn't do that. Okay, boy. Now, this is you and me. It wasn't just some guy dressed in black, huh? For heaven's sake, Jack. I think I know the difference between a man dressed in black and a shadow. My hand went right through it. I know what I saw. I hope these are worth it. I had to trade in my only copy of Green Lantern number three to get these developed in the middle of the night. You're too kind. Nice building. I don't understand. It's not there. Never mind, Mickey. It was a good idea. No, no, I swear. The Flash must have washed it out completely. Sure. Wait a minute. Look at this. That must have been the time the Flash didn't work. I think I know how this goes. Look, when Dunn wears those gloves, his shadow splits off and goes after a victim. But what the heck is this shadow? Well, Mickey, we all have a dark side to our personalities, but we keep it under control. In Dunn's case, his dark side is unleashed. The gloves release a shadow that's able to kill anyone who's a threat to Dunn. Or anyone who's trying to steal the gloves. And if there's another fight? In order for him to win, there has to be another murder. Hey, man. How you doing? Okay. You like that last night, Davy? Hey, Frank, how you doing? Ho, ho, ho! Ooh. I wouldn't do that if I were you. You know, you've been shooting your mouth off a long time around here, Corny. It's about time somebody zipped it up for you. Oh, yeah, and you were the man? You know, I used to be afraid of you, man, but no more. <laughs> Why not you and me? Right now, up there in that ring. John, you'll waste the breathing room. What's the matter, man? You can't take the heat? No, man! It's the smell. Now that he knows we're after them, he's going to guard those gloves with his life. I doubt he'll ever use them outside the ring. Well, why don't we call the police? Tell them what? 
The shadow's knocking people off? It's just his word against ours. All right, what, what now? Any bright ideas? I'm sorry, Ryan, not this time. Well, it looks like the only way we're going to be able to get the gloves is when he's in the ring fighting. Ah, Damn it. chance of that. Damn it. Dunn has killed Manny, and he's killed Tony, and there isn't a way in hell that you or I or anybody in this world is going to be able to prove it. It's... You got your wish, man. Tonight, here at Berea, 8 o'clock. And I'll be there with my gloves on. You better show them. What are you doing? Nothing. I'm just giving Dunn his big chance. You can't fight him. Why not? Because somebody might get hurt. Yeah. I'm going to wipe up the floor with him. You don't understand. You don't understand. Now, I know that you guys think that Dunn killed Manny. Well, so do I. There's more to it than that. There ain't no more to it than that, man. Manny was like a father to me. I'm going to have to make sure that nobody gets hurt. Killed, Jack. Killed. Kid Cornelius isn't going to call the match off. He's out for blood. Yeah, but the question is who's? Remember, Ryan, don't be a hero. Just wait for your opportunity. Better set up the sun gun. All right. Okie dokes. Good luck. Thanks. Well, Tommy. Hmm? You crazy coming here alone after last night? Maybe I am. Maybe I know something. What do you mean? The gloves. I know about them. You know? I saw you steal them. I was in the back waiting for Manny. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, you know, Manny gave me the gloves. Kind of my good luck. Oh, yeah, sure he did. Your friend, Manny. How about if I go find a cop and let him decide? Hmm? With your record, who do you think he's going to believe? What do you want from me? <laughs> Mine. Yeah, that's better. Let's talk about your career. You get to keep the gloves. I get to keep the money. Well, 70%. <laughs> we got a deal, haven't we? Yeah, we got a deal. Tell you what. Wait for me outside. Out in the parking lot. Hmm. Yeah, parking lot's fine. No games done. I can find you anywhere. Yeah. I know where to find you, old man. Tonight. Is it a boys? Oh, I'm afraid so. Over there's about right, I think. I don't like this. Sure. Well, neither do I, but it's the best we've got. Don is a real hothead. He's bursting with rage. We've got to use that against him. I know, but I'm just worried. Well, so is Don, so don't worry too much. Look, it's an old strategy, isn't it? Tie a goat to a peg, wait for a lion. Yeah, I just don't want you to be the sacrificial lamb. Hey, Don. See you in the parking lot, partner. Corner man out!
get rid of the fight girls. Would you come on and see what you've got? Yeah, come on and see what you've got. If you've got anything. find out what makes you different. That's what makes us different. You not only get your glasses fast, you get just what you're looking for. I got a different kind of style. Yes, I do. In recent days, we've seen TV ads that distort the record of our congressman, David Price. We know the ads are paid for by the Tom Fetzer campaign, but who is Tom Fetzer? Tom Fetzer has spent most of his adult life working for Jesse Helms' Congressional Club or its candidates. In fact, Fetzer actually headed the club's operations. We've seen congressional club tactics before. The distortions, the negative campaigning, the mudslinging. Will we allow ourselves to be clubbed again? Hi, dudes. What's weird science all about? How about the ultimate fantasy girl? Hi. Hi. The ultimate fantasy girl. What would you little maniacs like to do first? The ultimate fantasy girl. It's all in the name of science. <laughs> Weird science. Sunday afternoon at 3. The battle begins for planet Earth. Now mankind must confront the alien enemy. Nightmare being. Destroy our minds and steal our very souls. Colonel, please, for the sake of your men. The final assault is about to begin. Right here! The invaders are here. Oh. On the premiere of War of the Worlds. Sunday afternoon at 5. You put the gloves in the vault, right? Yeah, yeah, while you were parking. But, you know, I think it all worked out pretty well. Oh, you do, do you? I suppose this is some great triumph in your book. What more do you want? We got the gloves back. We did what we could. Isn't that enough? No, it is not. That slime killed two people, and nothing's going to happen to him. Mickey, the guy's got a perfect alibi. What do you want us to do, go up to the cops and tell them that a shadow uh, beat two people to death? The cops don't believe in magic. I think what she's talking about is justice and what you're talking about is law. Second oldest problem, Ryan. When your ideals outstrip the realities. Well, what's the oldest? You awake? <clears throat> no. You all right? Yeah. 
It's nothing. Hey, you want some cocoa? It's no trouble. Not really. Thanks, anyway. I'll see you in the morning. Yeah. Okay, uh, good night. Good night. Where's my gloves? You know where they are? All right. We go get them. You make one sound. Hmm? And I open you up. Vicky, is that you? <laughs> Hold it. Okay, I'm holding. Get the gloves. They're locked up. Unlock them. Now, you want to see her bleed? Hmm? What are you guys do? Oh my. Who else is here? Nobody does that. Anything you want, but just don't hurt her. Hurt her? Oh. I'll hurt her to death. Now, you move it. The gloves. Sure. Sure. You try something. Making some phone calls or anything, and your girlfriend here is gonna die very slow. I'm not. Okay, okay, I'm going. Okay, just ease up on her. Try it. Come on, old man. Tougher in the gym, weren't you? Turn around. You got no alibi for this, Dunn. You're hurting me! For God's sake, man! Shut up, the both of you! Maybe I ought to cut you both to make you shut up, hey? You think that's a good idea, hey, Bill? foolish nobody can prove anything up to now you got away with it you've outsmarted everybody but if you kill us or you hurt us then they're going to know aren't they so why don't you just leave now and you'll be quite safe because without the gloves, I go back to being like I always been. A nobody. A button like this one here wouldn't even talk to. Hey, hey doll. Maybe I'd have slice for that too, huh? Watch your pretty face while I dig it in. Huh? Stringing me along like that. Making me think you liked me. I swear, none of us meant to hurt you. Don't you hear me that. You're just like the rest of them. Always stepping on me, keeping me down, keeping me from taking what should belong to me. Don! You want the gloves?
I had, I had to do it to save you. I had to put on the gloves. Come on, the gloves. Here. Come on, Jack. Get up. I didn't hit him that hard. Crying. That was, without doubt, the stupidest thing that you've ever done. Those, those things were cursed. Don't you know what that means? It was a calculated risk, and it worked. Hmm? I mean, look, 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 I don't have the gloves on, and then nothing went wrong. Jack, he's not breathing. Oh, yeah, he's still alive. You better call an ambulance. <laughs> Sometimes you bring justice on yourself. Who's on done yet? Oh, yeah, the commission doctor came around. What do you say? Well, turns out that Dunn had scar tissue all around his brain, you know, from being beat up all those times. Turns out my fight had nothing to do with him being hurt. You know, I thought I'd feel pretty good when I beat up on him. You know, like, uh, I'd feel like, like I was doing something for Manny. But Manny would have never had nothing to do with anything like this. Hey, uh, hey, you ever uh, figure out why he came over here? No. He just came in and started shouting, and all of a sudden he collapsed. Yeah. Well, <laughs> look, uh, I got to go uh, get the rest of the boxes. I got to get going. I'm going to be running the gym for a while for Mrs. King. You know, try to put something back in, like Manny always said. So, Ryan, looks like you weren't responsible after all. Maybe what happened to Dunn wasn't your fault, Ryan, but for what happened to me, I hold you entirely responsible. <laughs> Someday, Ryan, when you least expect Each week, millions of people watch my home improvement show on TV. But no matter how much I cover, people still seem to have millions of questions. Like this one. Dear Bob, I never seem to have enough space in my kitchen. How can I make more room? I've got one simple answer. The Time Life Books Home Repair and Improvement Series. Just look at these great ideas that can help you around the house. In your first book, Kitchens and Bathrooms, you'll learn how to build a custom-made work area. From fitting utility drawers to assembling a kitchen countertop. Everything is outlined in clear, simple steps. Look at the great results it got me. A couple from Michigan, planning to build their dream house, wrote asking about enclosing a bathtub in their guest bathroom. So I told them about the Home Repair and Improvement series. It shows how to set up a bathtub from attaching the frame and finishing the tile to connecting the hardware. The Home Improvement series really makes it easy. No matter the job size, these books provide the answers. Call now, and you'll start receiving a new volume every other month. Soon you'll be laying down a new wood floor, adding a sliding glass door, or even raising the roof. Another viewer wrote that he loved the outdoors so much, he wanted to know how he could bring it indoors. I told him first to add on a new deck, as outlined here, and to really bring the outdoors indoors. Install an energy-efficient skylight. Now I've got it all, thanks to the Home Improvement Series. 
Remember that couple from Michigan who were building their dream house? It looks like they've finished it. Dear Bob, thanks for the tip on home improvement. As you can see, the books have made our dream house just that. Call now and let Time Life Books Home Repair and Improvement Series help you get results like a real pro. To examine kitchens and bathrooms free for 15 days, call 1-800-548-3100. Keep it and pay just $10.99 plus $2.98 shipping and handling. And when you do, you'll get this handy 12-foot Stanley tape measure free. So call 1-800-548-3100. That's 1-800-548-3100. Ten years ago, Halloween, evil had a shape. Terror had a night. And now, he's back. Six bodies, Sherry, that's what I've seen. And my friend, you Michael Myers is here in this town. Halloween 4, the return of Michael Myers. He's come home to kill. Halloween 4, rated R. Starts Friday, October 21st at theaters everywhere. Sun ripened raisins covered with Nestle milk chocolate. They're like chocolate covered sunshine. Wholesome and then some. So catch some rays, catch some raisinets. And now catch some raisinets in the new snack pack. Catch it in the granola bar section at your grocer's. <laughs> I don't actually. Do you think it's real? Ain't that just like real life, baby? Ain't that just real life? From the frigid Great Lakes. The knock yourselves are blunt. That's all I ever needed. To the icy mountains of Oregon. It's been excellent for me. More and more Americans are taking Alka-Seltzer Plus cold medicine. Fast, effective relief for tough winter colds. In a word, it works. U.S. News wants to send you a free clock stereo system. Right now, we're in the U.S. News mailroom sending this clock stereo system free to people like you who've responded to a special offer. In a minute, I'll be back to tell you how you can get yours. But first, a word from the president of U.S. News, Fred Drasner. Molly Ringwald, uh, Michael Jackson, Madonna, why is she hot? Uh, basically, who cares? U.S. News uh, doesn't provide that sort of coverage. What we provide is information that is useful for you and how to manage your life. If you're worried about how to best invest your money, uh, how to provide for your kids' education, uh, how to take care of your health, uh, developing trends in medicine, how to get the best vacation, where to vacation with kids, all the practical aspects you need for life management, then we're the right magazine for you. If you want to know what are the new rules about exercise, are you really benefiting yourself by strenuous exercise? Uh, we're the right magazine for you. Uh, if you want to know what happened to the trillion dollars you just spent on defense and whether it was worth it, uh, we're the right magazine for you. Take it home, drive it around the block, kick the tires, and if you don't like it, send it back to us and we'll give you your money back. To subscribe, call this toll-free number now and we'll send you this exclusive AM-FM clock stereo free. This sophisticated sound system has twin dynamic range speakers for full, rich sound plus a programmable LCD quartz alarm clock. Call now and get 31 weekly issues of U.S. News for just 77 cents an issue. You'll save over 60% off the cover price. Pay in four easy installments of just $5.99. You can even use your MasterCard or Visa. All this and the clock stereo is yours, free. But hurry, these clock stereos are going fast. So call now, 1-800-228. 
bigger than ever to clean better than ever. You gonna be in there all day? My class reunion. You know, back in school was when I discovered Suave. Then I tried expensive shampoos and conditioners. Know what? They weren't any better, just more expensive. So I came back to Suave. Suave makes you look like you spent a fortune on your hair. Hey, baby, with Biggie Cash and Prizes, call 976-ROCK. Choose your music category, answer four correct questions, and win. Calls are only 195, 976-ROCK. The best alternative to singles bars is here. 976 Date, an all-new electronic meeting place. Calls are just $3. Call anytime, day or night. 976 Date. All the sports scores and information, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. That's 976-1313. There for you when you need a score. Saturday at midnight, an ecological accident, and nature goes on a rampage. Dead animals and looters everywhere. This place looks like World War III hit it. Christopher George, Michael and Sarah, Linda Day George, Day of the Animals. Why chew gum with sugar? I get all the flavor. I want with carefree sugarless gum. Get full flavor, get it all feeling carefree. Carefree sugarless gum, the full flavor's carefree. All the flavor, none of the sugar. I'm Bill Harrell. I was meat manager at Winn-Dixie for 16 years. Today, I'm a meat supervisor for Food Line. Why the switch? Well, I knew that Food Line was committed to quality. USDA choice, heavy western grain-fed beef. Quarter-inch trim. But I discovered more. Variety. Good, clean store conditions. Ground beef. Ground fresh daily right here in the store. But most of all, I discovered Food Line's extra low prices. That's why I switched. How about you? The best alternative to singles bars is here. 976 Date, an all new electronic meeting place. Calls are just $3. Call anytime, day or night. 976 Date. Jokes! Hear them? Tell them! Phone! Easy! Laugh! I'm gone! Dial a joke. 976 LAFF. Just 95 cents. No time for a romance novel? Call Dial Romance now to experience the fantasy of your choice. Why wait? Dial Romance 976 7676. Just 95 cents. Poor little fellas. When I think of their childhood, all those cute little maggots. <laughs> Our story is about a man with nobler ambitions. He likes to kill human pests, and he does it in front of an audience. Now that's entertainment. <laughs> So hang on to your hats, kitties. This one's a real shocker. This here is Charlie Ledbetter, sitting in his cell out the state penitentiary. It's long about midnight.
Charlie's gonna die in a few minutes. One thing Mr. Ledbetter ain't thinking about is Joe Saylor, his old boss. You see, one day Charlie had a half pint of vodka for lunch. He got to thinking about how they turned him down when he wanted that raise. Now, he felt real bad about that, old Charlie did. He'd been working there for about seven years, and he didn't have too much to show for it. So he went down and got his cold blue 44 out of the glove box of his Chevy, took it up to Mr. Sailor's office. Two slugs went into Sailor, three went wild. Last one went right through a glass wall into a secretary that's passing by. Got it right behind the ear. Killed a big as hell. Kind of a lucky shot, really. About the only kind of luck Charlie Ledbetter ever had. I guess right about now, Charlie Ledbetter's starting to think pretty serious about that valley of death. He's thinking about that rubber diaper they give him to wear. Wondering if he's gonna crap all over himself when I juice him in a couple minutes. He will. First thing you got to understand is when it's their time, all these big tough guys go yellow. Crying and hollering and screaming, blubbering, the governor's gonna call and all that. Well, I've been here 12 years and the governor ain't called yet. People say the damnedest things about electrocutions. They say your eyeballs pop out, they say black blood comes out your mouth. They say you get all foamy like a rabbit dog. All that's bullshit. It ain't true at all. Nice thing about electricity is it's clean. Of course, I have seen a few heads smoke after it's all over. Smoking head ain't very pretty. Knock it off, Charlie. You're being some damn chicken shit. You killed somebody, now you're gonna do the hot squad. It all evens out, don't it, baby? Why are you doing this? You know, people right. tell me most executioners never look the prisoners in the eye. Afraid they're gonna get spooked or something. Not me. I always look. Okay, Mr. Ledbetter. Now you're all ready for your regulation two jolts the state requires. I think we should proceed now. There's been a word from the governor. Yes, sir. We're all set. Let us pray. As I enter here with a sense of my own worthiness of Jesus Christ, abiding in Jesus, may the blessings of God and unmixed joy accompany you. They say electric current so fast the brain gets cooked just as soon as the switch is thawed. Prisoner never feels a thing. Boy, I'd hate to think that was true. I'm a country boy, but I like the city. You know, it's big, it's dirty, it let's you know what it really is. But at night, there's all those lights. It's real pretty, isn't it? My name's Niles Talbot. I've been the executioner in this state for the last 12 years. When I got here from Oklahoma, I caught on as an electrician, and after a while, I got a job out to the prison. 
Taking care of the generators? I like electricity. It's dependable. You can trust it. Let's say you it with gas or with some lethal injection. I don't take to that. That's how you kill a dog or a cat or something, not a man. It's got to be the old electric chair for me. Special agents called Coyote Busters. The effort, which often includes agents from the Drug Enforcement Administration, the FBI, and other yeah. federal agencies... Cheese sandwich, a cup of coffee black. Agreement. Elsewhere today, the legislature is prepared to vote whether or not to rescind the death penalty in this state, only a few hours after the execution of Charles Ledbetter. Opponents of the bill claim the death penalty has proven an effective deterrent against violent crime, and its abolition will only push the crime rate higher and produce more overcrowding in our prisons. Many also claim that execution is still murder in the eyes of God. I'm terribly sorry, Niles. Hey, listen, it wasn't your fault. Nothing you could do. I gotta admit, the damn thing caught me by surprise. Well, if you'd like, I can write you a letter of recommendation. Yeah, well, I was, I was kinda hoping I'd get my old job back. I mean, you still need somebody to look after the generators down at the powerhouse. We already have someone for that, Niles. Hey, you remember, you trained him. Now, listen, I've, I've been working here a lot of years. I mean, to an electric shop, another 12 throwing a switch for the state. Don't seniority count for something? It's not that, Niles. It's just that, uh... Well, we thought it wouldn't be good to have you around the prisoners. I mean, they all knew what you did. I mean, they all knew you were the man who... could get pretty ugly. Listen, it's nothing I can't handle. If somebody gets out of line, I'd take care of myself. I can't let it come to that, Niles. I'm sure if you think about it, you'll understand. Yeah, I understand. I guess this ain't the kind of work they give you a gold watch for, is it? One thing a man needs is a friend. Someone to talk to when you're feeling down and out. I suppose that's why they invented bars, you know? You nurse a drink, you think things over. Have a little chat. All of a sudden, things ain't quite as bad as they seem. Most ballroom conversations is either about baseball, football, boxing, or pussy. But with me, it's different. People usually want to talk to me about my job. I guess I'll just say my ex-job. This one's on me, Mr. Talbot. This goddamn criminal. I can't believe those chicken shit politicians really did it. After all those years of service, and they, they canned you like you were some fucking guinea off the boat, you know. I hate to see talent go to waste. It's a fucking shame. Thank you, Vic. You're real, buddy. Well, they're doing lots of shows on TV about the whole thing. Uh, TV people don't know nothing. They won't do something good, but they really ought to do. I ought to put a lot of little TVs in all the cells of all the prisons, you know, closed circuit, so that all the guys who's locked up can watch their buddy when he gets cooked. <laughs> now, that might be a real education. Hell, yeah, I'd watch it. There was this editorial on TV, and the commentator is saying how if they televised executions, the whole country would just stop the death penalty. They'd all be too sick from it. They wouldn't let it happen again. The fucking guys on TV, what do they know? Yeah. Let me tell you something. They put executions on TV, be the fucking highest rated show of all time. Be Nielsen's through the roof. Other networks would start killing people just to compete. Pretty soon, Geraldo Rivera be pulling that switch. <laughs> it's all a big food chain. We eat shit, and the shit eats us. They can me for my job because they're afraid of me. They're afraid of death. They don't see it's all around them. It's a disease. You eat it, you drink it, you breathe it, you fuck it. We're all pregnant with it. Growing inside all of us, like them over there. You see those two junkies? Pitiful bastards, ain't they? I'll tell you something, though. 
In a way, I respect them. They're honest. They spend all the money they can get just to shoot a little death into their arms. Just for a thrill. Just get a little taste of the grave. See, they know death is coming. They tease it. I like that. Because at the same time, junkies are shit. Two-bit criminals. Upon examination of sworn testimony, it would appear that the state has a strong case for the prosecution of James Flood for the crime of murder. However, having reviewed the district attorney's case, I find that the warrant for arrest has been improperly worded. I'm afraid I must rule that there are no grounds on which to prosecute James Flood. Mr. Flood, you are free to leave. Yeah! Objection, Your Honor. Your Honor, Your Honor I object. This is a travesty of justice. Because of a simple clerical error, you're letting this man go free. Congratulations. the court. This case is dismissed. Your Honor, I would like to petition immediately to the appellate court for a review. Order in this court. Order in the court. Son of a bitch, you killed my brother. Order in this court. Get back, will you? Your brother was a fag. Get out of here. I got nothing special against bikers. Hell, I used to own a hog myself once upon a time. Bikers believe in freedom. They don't want nobody to lean on them, and they don't give a good goddamn what polite society thinks of. See, they figure they're throwbacks to real Americans. You know, what the country was all about before it all went to hell, with big city lawyers and computers, corporations, time clocks and what all. There's a lot to be said for that. Those ain't bad ideas. But this biker, Jimmy Flood, now he went way out of line. And he ought to pay. responsible for the freak accident which claimed the life of alleged murderer Jimmy Flood. Flood, often characterized in the press as a motorcycle hoodlum based on his lifestyle and you believe and that? Record. And some people say there's no God. Sure there's a God. No doubt about it. The problem is he spends too much time making assholes like that biker. Hey, I know what you mean. He, he looks like a real creep to me. You know how on TV they get these experts, you know, the... Uh, the ACLU types, and they're always saying that it's only the minorities that get the chance. Did you ever notice that? And they're all pretty dark when I get done with them, Vic. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Will the defendants please rise? Will the jury foreman please read the verdict? <clears throat> In the charge of first degree murder, we find the defendants, Cynthia Baldwin and Theodore Carney, not guilty. The defendants have been found innocent of all charges and are free to resume their private lives. This court is adjourned. I'm very happy for you. It's over. Oh, thank God. <laughs> this fella, Carney, decides to unload his wife in favor of this little hotski that he had on the side. But his old lady had all the loot in her name, so he figured that divorce wasn't quite good enough. I know where his head is at. We all do. Right down there between his legs. Well, I gotta say this for old Corny. 
If you don't do it, make sure she's worth doing it for. And this girl of his is awful pretty. Of course, everybody knows beauty's only skin deep. Looks just don't last. in my wallet, it's in my pants, in the other room. I have some money in my purse, please. Take it, just don't hurt us. Keep it. I ain't here for your money. I, I don't get it, what do you want? I find you both guilty of the murder of your former wife, Mr. Corny. W were you a friend of hers? Who are you? And I sentence you to death. That sentence to be carried out immediately. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Yeah. No Ted's idea. I didn't know he'd really go through with Shut that. Shut up, I, Cynthia. I, you gotta believe me. Shut up, Cynthia. No, no, wait, wait, what? wait, wait, wait. No. <laughs> problem with women. If I wanted one, I just went out and got her. Easy peasy Japanese. Give me a beer, honey. They just want you to love them, is all. That's all they ever want. They get that from their mamas, from all the trashy magazines they read. It's easy to be successful with dames. Just don't fall in love and you're okay. You give them what they want, you fall in love. They'll kill you. They can't stand you no more. They either dump you and move on, or if they let you hang around, they cut your balls off. Weird, ain't it? Now, as far as strategies for getting into their panties, that's easy, too. The old rule, you treat whores like queens and queens like whores, got no problem. They're on the backs faster than you can say, son of Sam. Oh, look at those honeys. And up there, you got the queen bitch herself. Yes, sir, I got just what the doctor ordered for you. You might have fooled that jury, but you didn't fool me none. I wonder how you're gonna dance when I put 10,000 volts through your ass. ourselves one dead little go-go dancer. Well, honey, it's your time. Goddamn hell is going on here. Mr. Talbot, you are under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. I got some good news for you, Mr. Talbot. Since you're such a staunch supporter of capital punishment, you'll be glad to know the state legislature has just reinstated the death penalty. And guess who's not pulling the switch this time? Yeah! <laughs> the governor called here. Listen, it's just the latest thing, just a couple of minutes. That's all I'm asking for, just, just a few damn minutes. 
son, I'm not like the other ones. You know me. You won't know me. I used to watch you for Christ's sakes. I'm... Come on, I'm telling you, the government's gonna call. He knows what I've done for him. He knows about all the rats and all the fucking crumbs that I took care of. All the shit that they wanted me to get rid of. You want me? You gotta let me go, you son of a bitch! That phone is gonna ring. I'm telling you, he's gonna call. He's gonna call. He knows. And when he does, if you juice me before he fucking calls, you're all gonna get tanned. You hear me? You shields. I didn't do nothing that you didn't want. I didn't do nothing you didn't go along with. All I did was something you wanted to chicken shit to do yourself. You miserable chicken shit bastards. Chicken shit fuckers. You can't do this to me. Let me out of here. Niles, I'm terribly sorry it's come to this. It's my job. That's why I did it, because it's my job. If a man ain't good at his job, then what the hell is he good for? What's anything good for? I turn on the visitors, divina prosperita, serena lacticia, carita, atoposa, sanita, semper interna. <laughs> Magnifica Domine, Super Nos Nomen I didn't want no haircut. They said that was a mistake because my head might catch on fire from the electricity when they juice me. I told them, don't worry. The governor gonna call. Safety first! <laughs> 